Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. Director, Mr. Ian Leyland. Hello, everybody. Did I say it wrong? I did. Yeah, you okay. did. I did. I still didn't get it. One day. Thanks, Jared. Hello, everyone. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you for coming out. Did you guys see that worm? <laughs> really cool. All right. So right now, it's all hands on deck to make 4.0 the best experience for you. Richer locations, deeper gameplay, better experiences. All with completely new and wonderful music from Pedro, which will create an evocative and emotional backdrop. Rich and I have been working directly with Pedro for many months now. Beautiful music awaits. But today, I'm going to talk to you about what's beyond Pyro. So let's strap in and we'll take a look. My name's Ian, I'm the creative director for Star Citizen. And let's start by looking up into the stars and saying hello to an old friend. Awesome. All right, so this is Nick's system. Nix was discovered in 2582 by Carla Larry during the height of the newly formed United Empire of Earth's territorial expansion. Its most defining feature, and the source of its name, is the sprawling black dust cloud that occupies most of the system. The dust cloud severely hampers visibility and can interfere with your ship scanners. This system does, however, border with Vandul space. So, visitors are being advised there are Vandal raiding parties hitting locations throughout the system. But despite this, a small community has formed in the system, and this is on an asteroid in the belt between Nix 2 and Nix 3. And this asteroid is called Delmar. And here it is, hidden deep in the Glacium Ring. But actually, Delmar should be, and now is, an actual asteroid. And as it's an asteroid, the space is a zero G location giving a unique identity for a landing zone. So let's take a closer look at the main POI on Delmar.
All right. Awesome, awesome. So for all that remember, it's awesome to be able to say, welcome back to Levski. And for new players, let me tell you why it's a cool place. This used to be an old mining facility, which was mothballed and then abandoned. There is an internal network of abandoned tunnels and mine shafts, and these are now populated with refugees, fugitives, and criminals. This is also the home to the People's Alliance, who you'll be doing some work for. And as Levski was made some time back, it needed to be updated so that it can fit into current gameplay features and systems and mission loops. So let's take a look at the first update, and that is to the hangars and landing services. Release the Kraken! <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So Levski is still perched over the borehole, but now has a suite of hangars that are arrayed around and inside the borehole. We're also increasing the quantity of hangars. This is to meet the ever-expanding players per server to remove hangar wait times. And this pass will be done for all landing zones in the game right now. And for players that don't want to store their ship, docking services will be added high upon the cliff walls. Now, other than hangars and docking services, there are other ways to enter the location, which are also getting new updates. Let's take a look. All right, awesome. So around the main entrance, there's still gravity plating for on-foot access. And these will lead to open landing pads for quick drop-off and pick-up. 
And we're also adding access to gameplay areas for a variety of local missions and gameplay types. And as you saw in the video, there will be banks of exterior freight elevators. These can be used for quicker gameplay loops without requiring hangar services. Now, as this is a zero-G location, it also gives an opportunity for another type of specialist freight services. Let's take a look. All right, so first off, now the borehole goes all the way through the asteroid, which is awesome to fly through. And down at the base of the asteroid, there will be banks of exterior zero-G freight elevators. These will be priority access for hull series ships. So for all the hull series folks, we got you covered. The same functionality is also coming to space stations in both Stanton and Pyro. But wait, there's a little bit more. Let's take a look. All right, cool. So, the external freight elevators will now have direct access to cargo decks to be able to quickly sell or pick up for the next run. So that concludes some of the exterior updates coming to Levski. But the interior is also getting some updates to bring them in line with current gameplay requirements. These will be spaces like cargo services, as we, as we just saw, for hauling and supplies, and refinement centers, so you don't need to travel far to refine your ore. And we're updating the interior layout to provide better access to gameplay spaces. So to conclude, next system will be the next system after Pyro, Yay! <laughs> Delamar is now a physical asteroid with a zero-G play space. All right, not so much. 
<laughs> and we're updating Nevsky to fit current gameplay mechanics and gameplay loops. And most importantly, we're adding local areas for gameplay content. Now, speaking of gameplay in landing zones, let's leave Levski for now. And let's jump to Rainy, our 